He's slimy. Slimy man. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Nikki Uncut. I'm so happy to have you. This one is going to be just a fun one. I'm going to take you through my current makeup routine and just products I've been using and loving heavily and using heavily for the last week to two weeks. So let's get into the face. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the Refi Gloss Highlighter. I'm going to pop it on the top of my hand. Actually, I need some more than that. This is really pretty, really pretty, easy to work with. It's not um, like a heavy consistency. And I'm just gonna take a really old Real Techniques 204 brush, dip into that highlighting gel. Look how pretty that is. And I'm gonna hit the high points of my cheek. This is going on top of my sunscreen and like just my, my overall like morning skincare. So I already have my skin properly prepped and this is like my finishing step for that glow. Now the product that I'm gonna put on top of it for foundation has been working really well. Like the combination of these two have been working really well. So for foundation, once this is on, I kind of blend it out. It's quick, it's easy to blend out. For foundation, I like to put on top of it, or I have been putting on top of it. I've been using these nonstop. I, I know you probably see me talk about these a ton on my channel. I just can't stop using them because they're so easy, but they also look flawless. I always get compliments when I wear these. Like, honestly, it's it's crazy. Like, I'll, if I'm gonna get a compliment on my skin that day, it's, I'm always wearing this. It's It says a lot. So what I do is I mix the shade 10 and eight. So 10 is a little bit deeper. And I run this, yeah, 10, <laughs> that looked like eight for a second. I run this all across the forehead. And I mean, there's really no right or wrong way to use this product. You just kind of kind of go in and apply it and swipe it all over. So that's 10. And then with eight, I just kind of fill in the gaps because I basically mix these two shades to get my perfect match. Another thing that I've noticed with this too is it doesn't matter if you wear, if you put a ton of it on, it still looks really natural. So I'm gonna grab a 106 from BK Beauty and just work this in. <clears throat> just tapping it, blends right in, it's super quick, super easy. I mainly use this a ton like when I'm on the go and I'm doing my makeup on the go. Like when I've, you, I talk about this a lot, so I'll spare you the details. But when I land at work and I do my makeup before I head in physically into work, I love to just sit in my car and dedicate 10, 15 minutes um, to doing my makeup. And it's just, it's just kind of like my routine during the week when I'm working and shooting and doing clients. It's just really easy for me to do that. And what I like about this is there's no mess. Like I'm not pumping a liquid foundation out like near my lap and like near my car seats. And I don't have that risk and that fear of like making a mess with my makeup. It's just a stick. So you just swipe it on and like there's literally no way you can mess, like make a mess with this product. So I don't know. I just, I love it. I think it's a, one of the best products that Fenty has come out with in a long time. Okay, so just blend away. I'm gonna run a little bit on my eyelids. This is basically just whatever's left over in my brush, quick and easy. And I just need a little bit more of the number eight shade. Just right here. I feel like the number 10 was a little too dark in that spot. And when in doubt, you always wanna go a little bit lighter around your jawline so you don't see any line of separation where your foundation ends and your your jaw and your actual skin tone begins Ugh, i just i'm obsessed with this formula it's so good so foundation's on we're gonna move along to cream bronzer 
Now this is not a new product. I've been loving this for a long time now. It's the LYS Cream Bronzer. I have the shade Harmony. It's the No Limits Cream Bronzer in Harmony. This is gonna last me forever. I use this so often. I feel like I still have tons left. But this has also been, this has been my go-to for a while. Like not just recently, just for a, in general for a while. So I do this before I do my concealer. So I'm gonna roughly contour my nose and I say roughly cause this is a rough, <laughs> a rough draft of what the nose contour is gonna look like. Pop a little bit in this inner corner of my crease for some depth. Put that guy down. Let's use, this, make, this brush makes it really easy. This is an Angie Han flashy, it's the angled one. It's the A507. So I just start tapping away. And you know, this is Nikki and Cut, so you're gonna see the whole blending process. Sometimes it takes an extra layer to get the desired um, outcome that I want with my cream bronzer. So we'll blend this out, reassess, and see if we need to go in with more product, which I usually do just a touch. Brushing this up and towards my ear. Okay. I kind of push it into my skin and up. Now I do want a little bit more payoff, like color payoff on my forehead. So I'm gonna go back with another swipe and then blend it out. This is where it gets really messy around my hairline and my baby hair starts to just kind of fly all over the place. So. <laughs> kind of like push them and hold them down because I just wanna go all over my forehead. And I really do push this in, into my hairline the best I can. Let's see. Okay, looking even. Now I'm gonna switch my brush to a much smaller one. This is a BK Beauty 212 brush. And I'm gonna to start to blend out that the rest of the nose contour, as well as that crease contour that I applied. Kind of feather it out and up into the brow. And I'm gonna go back to this bronzer one more time. I'm gonna just squeeze my brush to flatten it and I'm going to lightly shade my lips. There we go. Feeling more like myself right now after I do that. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Now that our bronzer is on, like our cream bronzer, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite concealers. I go back and forth the most, to be very honest with you, between these two House Labs concealers, and I'm, I'm gonna skip these today just because I feel like I use them just constantly, and I wanna show some love back to the Tower 28. Um, what is this called? It's like a hydrating concealer. I have the shade K-Town. This one came out before the House Labs and the Makeup by Mara, which the Makeup by Mara one I just haven't been using. I haven't been like getting the sense to grab it as much as I have these two. These two are just like my, they've been my holy grails as of recently. So taking my K-Town concealer, it's just so creamy and hydrating. Like it just feels like, it almost feels like a serum type concealer. It doesn't feel like thick or dry at all. It feels like the opposite. It just feels very, very hydrating on my skin, um, which is also like ideal for under my eyes. Under my eyes is really the only area of my face that 
you know, does tend to feel a little bit more dry. I'm going to run this out towards my temple. And I'm also going to apply just a little bit, even though it's not a super bright shade. It's going to give me a little subtle highlight down the bridge of the nose. And then I always sweep it around my nose. I get a lot of redness around my nose. And also just this is just a darker like general area of my face because it has a lot of shadows that are cast from my nose. So I like to just kind of bring some light and pull that area back forward, if you will. A little bit on the top of my chin. Now, I'm going to take a slightly damp sponge, this is a pawpaw -paw sponge, and just apply very light pressure and just lightly blend this out. And then I'm going to leave it to dry down a lot more before I blend out the rest. This is one of my favorite methods. So light blend, very light blend, just a little bounce, 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 and leave the rest for just a little bit longer. So I need to powder my eyebrows. This is one of my other steps for like longevity in my brows. I'm going to use the Invisimat powder from Fenty Beauty. And any fluffy brush, I'm just going to grab one from, let's see, A503 from BK Beauty. Run my brush into the Invisimat powder and lightly tap it onto the brows just lightly. I'm not trying to ruin that brow wax that's in my brows, but I also am just trying to set the remaining visible skin. So when I put my brow pencil on, it's actually going to adhere. So this is a really important step for me. Now going back to my little Kosas Nano Brow Pop pencil, I wear the shade dark brown. Oh no, I'm sorry. I wear the shade black. I forgot. So taking the actual pencil part, Let's fill in the rest of these brows. Get them looking in tip top shape, hopefully. I might have gone a little too thick on this brow. <laughs> we'll take a look, a step back and check it out in a second after I'm done with this brow. This brow is naturally thicker than this side. So it's really easy for me to end up accidentally making that side even thicker just because, I don't know. I'm always used to making this side so much thicker so I just end up doing the same amount of strokes on this brow but because that one's naturally thicker it ends up looking much thicker than this one. So we'll check them out together in a second. Really great pencil if you have, yeah, this one's too thick. Such a great pencil if you have sparse brows and you're really like painting on a brow from scratch. If you are, man, I feel you. <laughs> the struggle can be, it can just be a struggle. Let's be real. So I'm going to take a flat brush. This is also from BK Beauty. It's an A505 brush. This is probably my, one of my favorite concealer brushes. It's flat so I can get in there and carve things. Carve and clean up. Okay, so I'm just trying to lower this arch. There we go. Because this arch was just way too intense in comparison to this one. Take a little step back. They're sisters, not twins. We're good. We're going to move on because of that. <laughs> so to move on, I'm going to take another brush, like a clean one. Let's do... Let's use... use this one. This is a BK Beauty 113. So I'm just going to take this, blend out the rest of that concealer, like the edges of it. Make sure it's nice 
and blend it in and seamless. I just love the way the combination of these products look on my skin. I just feel like my skin looks so healthy when I do this combination. I need to go back to this brush. I feel like I need a little bit more bronzer on this side. There we go. Blending out the rest of my concealer on this eye. Point it up towards the temple. Trying to bring some light back into that area. I have very hollow temples. I don't know where my temples went, but they left me. <laughs> They're like peace. Okay. Get a nice little blend of the two worlds. How are we looking, monitor? Good. Okay. So as of lately, um, my under eyes have felt like just a teeny bit more dry than, than usual. That's normal. It's a different, we're going into a different season. It's getting much, much more cold outside. So that's like a normal occurrence for me. And what I've been liking lately, again, this is like really what I've been doing the most as of like the last two weeks. So I have to keep it like, I have to keep it authentic. So what I've really been using the most is my Kosas Cloud Set Powder to set my under eyes. And it's just, it's just enough. It's totally enough. It doesn't feel dry under my eyes. It looks smooth. It looks really pretty and just not heavy. Um, and I like the combination, especially of this with either my House Labs concealer or with the Kosas concealer. So I'm gonna take a powder puff. This is an old one from Make It Forever. I'm gonna get a good amount because this powder is really lightweight. Even though it's a pressed powder, don't be fooled. It's very lightweight on your skin. So I'm gonna look up and just press this under my eyes and along the side of my nose, around my temple, anywhere I've highlighted. So I'm gonna hit the top of my chin, this little inner corner by my nose I especially like this area of my face right here to be matte because otherwise I can just look, I look kind of like I'm sweating in this area if I don't like matte it down with powder. Just delicately pressing this into my skin. And now for between the brows, this is also a very important spot for me. I always have to have my, like in between my brows, more matte, just a personal preference. And then I'll leave shine on the all on the outer perimeters of my face. Okay. Powder is done. Powder is done and I'm feeling really good. But now we're gonna go into some blush, okay? So for blush, I've been using this one for the last week straight. Um, I took it on like a really special um, anniversary trip with my husband. We wanted like a special little couple of day getaway like it was like we were gone three days total but it was just enough to like regain some like mental clarity and peace and connect and just have like some quality time together because like all we do truthfully is work so um anyway long story short the reason why i bring this up is because i picked this blush out and it happened to be like one of the only blushes i took with me on this trip and I just fell in love with this color. It just looks really pretty and healthy and just, it's just a really pretty color. You know, it's blush, blushes are pretty. Anyway, it's from Nude 6. It's like the newer formula where it has the uh, like highlighting core to it. I use the shade Sunset Gold, but first I just kind of do my thing. I warm it up on my hand and here's where the magic comes in. I'm using a stippling brush from e.l.f. I'm gonna get that product. You know this method. If you watch my channel, you know I love this method. And then tap it on. I go pretty high up with this. And honestly, this goes, this layers really well because I, inevitably I'm hitting that Kosas powder that I have under my eyes because I want this blush to be high up. It just gives me a really healthy 
vibrancy to my, my face and my complexion. But I was going to say this really does layer well on top of powder if you use this method. <laughs> if you use this method. If you don't, it can pull really patchy and separate your makeup. So just, just kind of like something to throw out there tip-wise. So just patting it in, being really careful. I'm going to run a little bit of this across my nose just to kind of connect these two worlds together. It's like my favorite look. And then when in doubt, inevitably there's like a little bit of separation between these two worlds. So I'll go back in with my powder puff and I'll just press out that edge. This is kind of like my foolproof way of melting these two worlds together. I'm all about that with makeup. Makeup should like melt together and not be like, you know, paint by numbers where it's like blush, highlighter, bronzer, <laughs> concealer, and you see all those separate worlds. They should all like kind of just melt together. So now I'm going to go right in with the Glow Sculpt from Say. I love this packaging, by the way. I just, I'm a, such a sucker for like sleek, shiny black things. I just, <laughs> I'll buy it. Like, <laughs> I'm just obsessed. Same brush, it doesn't matter. This has barely any blush left on it. I'm gonna dip into the say. Get a whole bunch. Let's test it out a little bit on my hand first. Cause I probably got a little too much. And then just kind of pat this right on top. This makes for either a really soft, depending on what your skin tone is. Okay, so this is like a soft, has a soft peachy hue to it. Like a soft bronzy peachy hue. So if you're really fair, you could use this as just a a simple, light, glowy, natural looking blush. Or if you have deeper skin, this makes a beautiful blush topper. Um, so I'm just using it as like a blush topper. It's just, it's really pretty. I'm really loving this formula. Goes on easy. This makes my skin look just glowy and healthy. I'm gonna run a little bit on my nose too for that extra glow. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, Nikki and Cut, you're going to see all of it. So I'm going to go back to my Kosas powder. I'm just going to hit this little area right here. Because this is where I don't want that shine. Okay. And I'm also, while I'm at it, going to hit my lips. Personal preference again. You know, I love to like matte out my lips. It just It's just a thing of mine. I'm going to do a little tight lining. This is with Girlactic pen, a Girlactic pencil. Excuse me. It's the Longwear Gel Eyeliner. I use this all the time. It's the shade Pure Brown. I go through many, many, many Pure Browns. Um, it's long wearing. It's very pigmented. It glides on. You can do a lot with this. But my favorite way to use this is just tight lining. So tight lining. It's like my daily tight lining pencil. So I'm just going to run this on the top lash line. Pretty. And for eyes, this has been a go-to. So I have so many go-tos, okay, I know. But this has really been like on heavy rotation. It's the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Full Color Stylo. It's basically like a shadow stick. Um, this is the shade Cappuccino, number nine Cappuccino. Cappuccino is by far my favorite. I love Cappuccino. But you know what else I do with Cappuccino? I run it on my lips. So I just go like this and this. This has more of a cool undertone to it. So it's basically going to create that, it's going to cast that, that shadow effect, giving my lip the illusion of being a little bit more full in these areas. I'm creating like a, a fake shadow of like, if I had really, really full lips, my lips would create a shadow effect. It's the same idea. And then I just buff it in just gently with my finger. These absolutely double as lip liners and they are phenomenal for that. So if you have these, Just try it out. Depending on what your skin tone is, 
Just try it out as a lip liner or a lip contour. Love. Okay. So now the intended use, the original use of this is to use it as an eyeshadow base. So I'm just going to run this all over my eyelid up to the crease. It's just a simple, beautiful, everyday kind of color. And then a little bit on my bottom lash line. Just right up to where my lashes are. Now, since this went on top of a little bit of uh, setting powder from my under eye powder, I'm going to go in and blend this out right away with a BK Beauty A504. Just blend it so it doesn't dry down too much where I, to the point where I can't blend it. Okay, now switching brushes again to a clean 206. I'm just going to blend out that pencil on the eyelid, just softly blend it into the crease. Now this product does look much, much warmer on my eyelids because I have, it's going on top of a lot of redness that I have on my eyelids. So it's kind of altering the color of like the shade and the undertone of this product. So just, if you're wondering at home, like why it looks a little bit different on my eyelids than it did maybe on my lips or on my bottom lash line, that's why. Okay, just a nice little rough blend. It's so funny, I feel like it warms up on my lip too. It's like color shifting, but not intentionally. Okay, for eyeshadow, probably not gonna be a surprise. I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks. Um, groundwork palette. It's just a beautiful neutral palette. It's a little bit bulky if you are, you know, doing your makeup on the go or if you travel with your makeup and things like that. It's a, it's a little bit bulkier, um, but I love this palette. I'm pretty uh, obsessed with this palette. Same brush. I'm going to dip into the powder shade in Mirage. And I just press this basically on top just to lock in that eyeshadow base, that, that uh, shadow stick, so it doesn't crease throughout the day, it doesn't move. Just keeps it nice and locked in. And same thing, I'm gonna switch back to that small brush, same shade in Mirage. I'm going to run this on top of the shadow stick on the bottom lash line just to set it, smoke it out. <laughs> this part always makes my eyes kind of tear up a little bit. Okay. Now, same brush. I'm going to dip into Desert slightly more cool toned and just layer it more towards the outer corner of the eye. Just kind of pressing it on. <laughs> and I'm switching to this little brush again, just going to buff out this little edge. And then going back to desert, adding a touch of this on the bottom lash line, but more towards the outer corner. Awesome. Now switching to another small brush. <laughs> Lots of brushes, I know. It's the 204 from BK Beauty. This is like a small, more smudging brush. I'm gonna dip into Bark, 
which is a dark brown shadow right here. And this is going to be like my soft eyeliner. So looking straight ahead, I'm just going to kind of tuck this right in the outer corner of my top and bottom lash line. Just to softly define this outer area of my eye. It's one of my favorite ways to wear my eyeliner, to be honest. It's not, it's not sharp, it's not harsh. It's really not defined at all. It's just like softly defined in like a smoky way. So it's defined, but in a soft way is what I'm trying to say. So same thing. I really need to keep my eyes open for this because especially on this eye, it's quite hooded in comparison to this eye. So I have to make sure I get the placement even. Okay. Let's actually use this mirror for a second. an idea of what we're doing here. Okay, perfect. Just simple. Really, really simple. But this is the non-simple part of this makeup look. I've been obsessed with the Half Caked. Um, Half Caked is a brand. The shadow, it's like a liquid shadow. It's called Night Show. But this one is so pretty. It's like a light champagne daytime kind of shimmery um, eyeshadow. It's the shade beating heart baby. So I've just been taking a little bit of this and normally I put this all over my eyelid, like all on the base of my eyelid, but lately it looks really cool and really soft if I just apply this as a tear duct highlight. But the formula is really great. I think these are like 11 or 12 bucks. They're super inexpensive. I mean, maybe they're $14, but the formulas are just fantastic. I have all the shades. They actually sent me them in PR um, and I've been using them a lot. I put one in my makeup kit reluctantly because I didn't want to give it up, but it's such a good like neutral shimmery brown that I just had to do it. But how pretty is that? It's like the perfect amount of shimmer for this inner part of the eye. I just love I also took this on my anniversary weekend and applied it all over and applied it in this area too. And it just, I don't know, it just hits every time. It's just so pretty. So I curled my lashes off camera, but let me show you now this fantastic drugstore mascara. I'm all about a good drugstore mascara. Like I don't, I really, to be honest, I don't like to spend a lot of money on my mascaras because A, I go through them so quickly and B, there's always a great dr drugstore option out there. You just have to, to kind of search and try them and find them. This one was sent to me by Rimmel. I did a sponsorship with them recently on like my Instagram and I use this mascara and I've been using it ever since. It's so good. I've been using this ever since and I've been using the lip liner that I use in that short as well. It's called um, Brownie Pie. <sighs> Brownie Pie. Oh my God. So gorgeous. But um, anyway, this mascara is phenomenal. It's very inexpensive. It's called, I didn't even, I didn't even tell you the name. That's how bad I am. It's called Scandal Eyes or Scandal Eyes Volume On Demand. So let me show you what this does. The brush is big, but it's not messy. Like it has a taper tip to it. And then it's um, like hourglass shape in the middle and it's bigger on the very inner part. I think it works really well. The other thing that I've noticed too, cause I'm very, I'm very, very picky with my mascaras. Okay. Like very, very picky. It doesn't flake. It doesn't clump easy. Like meaning I can go in there and do four coats of this and it doesn't clump easy at all. Whereas like there's some higher end ones that if you are not careful, they do clump pretty easily. So I don't know. This one's just a freaking great formula that I highly recommend you try. I've been using it a lot lately in place of like my more expensive ones. 
So like between this one and the Lottie London Super Fake Mascara, those two are like just some of the best drugstore mascaras I've ever tried. Go back in for some more. I'm actually shockingly running low on this mascara already. That's how much I've been using it. Gotta move on. Otherwise I'd be doing mascara forever. I'm gonna hit my bottom lashes just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we need to move on to this lip. I've got a really good lip for you all. I'm very excited for this. <clears throat> so, the lip. It's a mix. Well, actually, they're both pretty low end. I was going to say they're tie low, but they're both actually pretty, they're really affordable. This is $10. It's the newest one from Naturium. It's the Fido Glow Lip Balm. This is the shade Spice and Spice. Oh my God. They're all beautiful. I put more, I put the rest of them in my makeup kit, but Spice I'm keeping for myself and I'll get more. But anyway, they launched four new ones for fall. I actually had helped um, give my feedback on the shades when they were formulating the shades like months and months ago. So these are very near and dear to my heart. I got to try these firsthand like six months ago, at least longer than that. Love these shades. They're absolutely stunning. Um, can't go wrong with any of them. There's also, um, the box is down here, but like there's latte, there's mocha and chai. So many beautiful shades to choose from, but this is the one sh spice. And I've been wearing it with Peri Para. This is like an Amazon lip liner that I am obsessed with. It's in the shade Milky Brown. So Milky Brown goes on first on top of that Nabla shadow stick. Gorgeous. It's retractable. It's very long wearing. Goes on smooth. You know, just all the good things. So spice. Spice is mine. So I just directly apply it. Gorgeous. I love it. I just love all these tones so much together. I'm going to take my Kosas powder one last time and I'm going to grab a clean. Yeah. 108 from BK beauty. Couldn't tell if this had highlighter on it, but it doesn't. And just hit my under eye a touch more. And then the finishing step is going to be setting spray. And the one I've been using every single day, literally, is the Milani Make It Last. I'm, I'm almost halfway out of this too. So make sure you shake it first. And hold please. Whew. It's chilly. My face is wet, but 
this is the finished look. Let me just fan it off with my half magic fan. Nice and refreshing. So that's a complete look. These are some of my favorite products at the moment that I've been using the most in the last two weeks. Comment below. Let me know what your favorite products are that you're using currently. If any of these are in your heavy rotation, like they are for me, um, let me know what you think of this look. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me out. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the uncut, long-winded, <laughs> leaving everything in um, type video. Give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you all so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. And um, I guess that's it. Here's the look one more time. I have to go jump on a meeting, but so wish me luck. I'll see you soon. Bye.